In boxing, we say, I want the smoke. I want all the smoke. That means I'm not afraid. I can fight anybody. Give me anyone. Any weight class, any division, any time. I'll take anyone. I'll fight anyone. So, I want all the smoke. Okay. Now we have here, this time, uh, native level English phrases. Native level, not intermediate, not advanced level. Now I want to go all the way to native level, right? So, English, native level English phrases. 10 native level English phrases. Let's go. Okay. okay number one is cloud on cloud nine. Of course, on cloud nine means extremely happy. Extremely happy. Okay. Let's see if I get it correct. On cloud nine, be extremely happy, excited, yes. Hit the ground running means you can do something without even, uh, without any struggle. For example, if you hit the ground running, it means you, you don't need any training to do something. Uh, since you have the knowledge required, the required knowledge or capacity, skills. Hit the ground running, okay. Anyway, uh, I wanna, uh, check. I wanted to put check here. Hit the ground running. You start a new activity with a lot of enthusiasm and energy, and do not waste any time. Mm. We want our students to hit the ground running after they graduate. Hmm. Okay. So I was not one hundred percent correct. I was half correct. I didn't mention that you don't waste time. My definition was not complete, but not wrong. So I was uh, okay. I'm gonna take that W. If you don't think that you know, I'm not I'm being biased to myself, uh, please let me know. Let me know. Give me some smoke. Okay, next. The ball is in your court means uh, you make the decision. You are the man. Uh, you call the shots, right? The ball is in your court. You make the decision. Uh, if you say that the boy is in someone's court, you mean that it is his or her responsibility to take the next action or decision in the situation. Absolutely, yes. Biting off more than you can chew. Come on. Is this native level? Come on. <laughs> Easy peasy. Right? Uh, biting off more than you can chew means you have taken something that is more than you can handle. Right? Okay, break the ice means <clears throat> uh, to start uh, to start an action. For example, in a classroom, uh, imagine there is a classroom and everyone's, everybody's silent. No one is willing to start uh, conversations. And you do something funny to break the ice, means to break that silence. And everybody suddenly, everybody suddenly starts talking, right? So you broke the ice. And keep your chin up. Yeah, keep your chin up. This is your chin. Keep your chin up means uh, man, don't uh, don't be sad. For example, if you lose a fight, especially if it is a close fight, of course you know they are competitors. They are uh, fighters, so they want to win. They want to knock out. They want they want to knock out their opponent. If they can't do, they are sad. But you know, uh, their trainers will say, "Hey man, keep your chin up. You did a great job. It was close. You did your best. You you gave your all." Uh, it means, okay, don't be sad, come on, stay up. Okay, all ears means uh, eagerly listening, eagerly attentive. Um, all ears means, ah, uh, I'm listening. Uh, hey man, tell me, I'm all ears. If you want to tell me about, especially girls, I think, uh, if uh, there is an interesting topic for a gossip, they are all ears, <laughs> right? <laughs> Sorry, sorry if it was offensive. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be, I didn't mean to be. Okay, next is uh, butter someone up. Butter someone up means sweeten someone up, you know. Uh, in Myanmar, we have a perfect phrase in Myanmar. Right? Uh, if you butter someone up, you maybe you are too uh, submissive to them or you are flattering them to gain a favor, right? Okay. Uh, face the music means to face the consequence of your action, right? Your actions. Uh, you're gonna you're, you're gonna have to face the music later for what you have just done, right? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's check. Uh, be confronted with the unpleasant consequence of consequences of one's actions. Yes. 
we would rather we would later have to face the music over our bold moves. Yes, of course. Okay, next is burning the midnight oil. Burning the midnight oil. Uh, so I have seen it a few times, but uh, okay, I'll just take a guess. Burning the mi the midnight oil means you're staying late into the night, either for study or working on something. You're staying late at night. Uh, da -da -da, let's check. Like I said, you know, if you see them in a sentence uh, with the context, it's a lot easier to understand if you see them in a context, in a, in a paragraph or in a book. Burning the midnight oil, stay awake late at night. Yes, to stay awake late at night to work or study. Jill has been burning the midnight oil lately. Yes. Have you been burning the midnight oil lately, guys? Or are you still burning the midnight oil? Okay, that was pretty good. Hmm, that was pretty good. I mean, these are easy. These are easy. Uh, so, maybe one more. Give me... I want some more smoke. I need... Give me 10 more uh, native level English phrases with... Uh, definitions. 10 more. Come on. Absolutely. Here are 10 more native level English phrases. Cut to the chase means get to the point. Okay? Get to the point. Uh, a piece of cake. Easy. A piece of cake is a piece of cake, right? In the nick of time means on time. In the nick of time means just before it runs out. Just before uh, the start time. Okay, let's, do, let's make sure that I get it correct because I don't want to be wrong. Uh, just before the last moment, yes, correct. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Uh, of course, uh, I mean, I don't even have to give the meaning of this. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. I uh, mean, uh, don't be happy about some, something that hasn't happened, right? Okay, number five, it's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. It means it's not my liking. It's something, it's not something that I like. <clears throat> For example, boxing is my cup of tea. But uh, let's say golfing. Golf is not my cup of tea. In my free time, I would rather do boxing. I would rather go to the gym than play golf. A dime a dozen. Oh, what is this? A dime a dozen. A di I've seen it before, uh, but it's I can't uh, I can't define it. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. I've seen it, but I uh, just. Forget the, uh, the meaning. I just forgot the meaning. Time a dozen means to become common or of uh, very little value. Uh, books like these are a dime a dozen. A dime a dozen. Oh, okay. A dime a dozen. A dime a dozen. Okay. A dime a dozen. Uh, it means only uh, 12 of this only cost a dime. 12 of this only cost maybe a cent, a dollar. Use, basically useless, valueless. To become or to become or to be of a uh, little value, of course, of course. So it's cheap, right? Cheap, uh, of little value. Tamu Okay, uh, next is seven. Called red handed means, uh, okay, la bula jambia, la bula jet. Oh, okay, in English you can say, uh, <clears throat> Caught in the act. Okay, number eight, don't cry over spilled milk. Okay, uh, don't cry over something that has already happened. Move on. Move on with your life. Don't be sticking on this one thing that has already happened, something that you can't fix anymore. Get the ball rolling means start. Okay, guys, let's get the ball rolling means let's start. Let's get started. Jump on the bandwagon. Uh, number 10, I, I love this one. Jump on the bandwagon means uh, just to support something that is popular. For example, let's say in Myanmar, let's say NLD, right? NLD was a very strong, um, a very strong political party that a lot of people were supporting, right? They, they didn't even know. So in the, I think in, in a lot of cases, uh, the, the voters didn't even know the name of the candidates of NLD. They just know the party, so they voted for NLD. They jump. They just jump on the bandwagon of NLD. They just jump on the bandwagon. They just join 
the group that is popular. So don't jump on the bandwagon. Think and make decisions wisely. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so that was it. I think phrases are more like idioms. So uh, I'm familiar with them. So that's it, I guess. So thank you for watching again. If you want to learn English, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And if you, you if you want to know, if you want to learn vocabulary, of course, you know, consistent practice is the only way to go. So keep reading, keep learning, uh, keep writing, right? I would say keep listening to, you know, listen to uh, podcasts, audios, and keep reading. Reading is a great way to learn vocabulary. Again, vocabulary, not just words. Vocabulary and single words are different. I love English vocabulary. By the way, I'm teaching vocabulary. So if you want to join my class, let me know. That's it. Bye-bye.